up everyone it's your girl Crystal here welcome back to my channel I look so pale right now but I'm gonna blame the lighting because I'm using a window I'm in my hotel room if you haven't realized that already I've been traveling this entire month and I'm still not going home <laughs> I kind of am already wishing I'm already home but I'll be home soon enough. Right now I am in Krakow, Poland, and then I'm gonna go to another part of Poland. It's it's a lot. I've just been all over the place, so I haven't been able to upload. I was really on point with my uploads in the beginning of my trip, but then it kind of like fell off because I was going to hotel after hotel after hotel, and not all of them had the best lighting, and I didn't always want to film, so that was that. So today's video is going to be a video I actually had already pre-filmed and it's up on my channel and not like up publicly but I can see it. I rewatched the video and I was like I need to redo that shit <laughs> because it just wasn't what I necessarily wanted. I felt like I rushed that video and I kind of have like more time right now. Um, so I figured that I might as well re- Film it. So that is what I'm going to be doing today. I have been getting a lot of questions. <laughs> this is not like like I'm like I like treating it like as a serious video. It's not even that serious, but like, or it's not serious at all. But so many people ask me like, Crystal, get your life together. Where like we've never seen you have a boyfriend. Like, what is up with you? So many of my YouTube friends get in relationships, and they're just like, Crystal are you okay <laughs> I just never like I haven't gotten into a very serious serious relationship I mean there's nothing wrong with that um, I kind of just wanted to talk about my life the first thing I kind of wanted to talk about is like I keep my personal life parts of my personal life because I do I am very transparent um, on social media I keep parts of my personal life very very personal and one of those things is my love life I don't necessarily like to talk about that unless I do get into a, a, a very serious relationship I probably won't talk about it at all you guys probably will have no idea about what's going on or anything like that there's a few times where I've addressed it some people ask me say like on my Instagram live they're like Crystal are you in a relationship are you talking to someone and in the past I've been like yeah like I'm talking to someone but like it just like it, it doesn't work out <laughs> so I just like don't really like to talk about it because then people are like oh what happened this and that like that is one thing that I do like to keep very personal also whenever in the past I've you know been seeing someone I never talk about my social media so most of the times I don't date on social media I feel like that's just I don't know Dating, dating someone who is another social media influencer. I mean, I'm not opposed to it, but there's things that come with it. And I don't know if I would want that. So whenever I meet someone, I never talk about my social media. Unless, like, say, like, they already know about it. Okay, that's different. But they won't know anything for the longest time I will try to keep it a secret. And my reasoning for that is because every time they find out they get very intimidated and I've been told by guys like oh like you're intimidating I don't know if I could talk to you it's like bitch with the book <laughs> and I don't really know like I can't be like oh like that's not right they shouldn't be like intimidated because I'm not in that position I'm on the other side so I can't really like say that they're wrong or anything I mean I can kind of understand why someone wouldn't want to be all over social media and all that and i guess what they don't really understand is like i can control the social media you know i can control what people see and that's what a lot of people don't really understand is that social media influencers control what you see half of the time you don't really know what's going on in their actual lives you know it's kind of like a struggle with that and a lot of the times social media influencers when they say become big they are already in relationships or they end up finding relationships most of the times on social media with other influencers and that's just kind of the reality of it it's just like i'm just like rambling honestly i'm just kind of talking i'm not really necessarily going to a certain point or anything like that i'm just kind of like talking you guys kind of have to respect the fact that 
it's not just me in the relationship, it's someone else. And a lot of the times, it's gonna be someone who is not on social media. And especially with me, I don't want to put someone all over social media and be in that perspective, be in that point of view, have everyone kind of watching them if they don't want that. If I ever do get into a serious relationship, like actually like boyfriend, girlfriend with someone, it will be known. Obviously, I'm not gonna hide the fact that I'm in a relationship, I would never do that. I would make it known and I would leave the rest up to him. If he wants to be put on social media, cool. Like I like showing off who I'm with. I like posting, Snapchatting with the person I'm with. I like showing a person off. Like I wanna be with you, I'm with you, I wanna show you off. Obviously, I don't put my entire relationship on social media. And so basically this is a long video just talking about <laughs> everything. I don't really know if you guys care. This video is so like all over the place. Me, myself, personally, I have to be careful with what I say right now. Yes, I do want to be in a relationship and I'm not saying I haven't found someone. I'm not addressing anything. <laughs> I'm happy with myself if I am by myself, if I don't make it into a relationship. <laughs> oh God, um, then I'm fine, like I'm just fine with myself and you know th I think that that's just what you need first is to be happy with yourself and I am I'm very happy in the position I am with myself right now and I'm working on me and someone else comes into that then okay cool I guess there's no really good answer as to why I'm single I've been single for a long time Let's just put it that way. I've been single for a long time. Honestly, when it comes down to it, I always tend to mess up situations. And I think I haven't been in a relationship for so long because for the past year, pretty much, I had been trying to get over my last relationship, um, which you guys kind of saw part of, but he didn't want to be on social media, so I never posted him. Like I said, it's a respect thing. If he doesn't want to be posted, I'm not gonna post him. So I had been trying to get over that past relationship and I'm completely past that. I, you know, put that past me. I realized that wasn't for me. I didn't want that anymore. So now I've moved on. And I think that's just what held me back from being in relationships this whole time is because I can't put myself in a relationship if I am not all in with that person. If I'm thinking about someone else, I'm not going to do that with that person. I'm not going to, you know, get their feelings involved and, and hurt them. But yeah, if you actually finish this video, I'd be very surprised. What am I at, 14 minutes? I don't know how long this video is actually gonna be when I edit it, but if you made it this far, you a real one. <laughs> Um, I'm so tired if it looks like I'm tired and just like messed up. I am I am really just gone But that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up Subscribe if you're not and I'll see you guys later. Bye